So remember, you can get most things you want out of life, but it'll take one or two years longer than you expected. Be patient. And that patience is one of the most rare ingredients found in this modern world. Almost everybody I meet, and I see this on TikTok, people posting their journey to financial success. In January, I was working at McDonald's, having a hard life. In February, I quit. In March, I launched my business. In April, here I am, and they show all these you know, videos of them in Dubai or in a private jet. I'm going, a four-month journey ain't a real journey. Nobody made money in four years. Money's made with blood, sweat, and tears. I had a friend, he said, he added, he said, most wealth in this world is created with blood, sweat, and violence. So depending on who you ask, it's one of those formulas. And nothing big comes from four months. In fact, if you look at the science, for example, of people who win the lottery, the average person who wins the lottery is dead broke again in two to five years. You see this in professional uh, athletes. People who didn't grow up learning the fundamentals and the foundations of wealth. I call those the 300 foundations. When you don't learn those 300 uh, foundations, frameworks you could call them, the average pro athlete, like an NFL football player, they come from nothing, then all of a sudden, but they didn't learn the 300 frameworks of wealth, that those one, two, three, four, or five million, the average NFL player is broke again in two years. Now, some of that is from the training side, not learning. Our school system doesn't teach you. But the second aspect of that comes from a lack of patience, meaning you make your first million dollars, but and now you've tasted wealth, so you're like, I'm gonna make a hundred million, and it only took me, you know, three years to make a first million. I bet you I can make a hundred million in, you know, now I'm better, now it only take me two years. That's not how the game goes. In fact, if you look at you know law of diminishing returns, it's kind of like when you're out of shape. It's easy to learn your lose your first 20 pounds of fat or 30 pounds or 40 pounds. But when you get lean, to optimize that next step takes tremendous patience. You can get what you want out of life, most things, but it'll take you one, two, maybe 10 years longer than you think. And I remember being, you know, 19 years old and my second mentor, Alan Nation, said to me, he said, Ty, the average millionaire, real millionaire, I'm not talking about crypto flash millionaire. I'm not talking about an NFT flash millionaire. There's gonna be, you know, crypto real wealth created and most people are, I call them that flash wealth. Boop, come and gone. Like the lottery ticket winner. He said to me, real millionaires take 12 to 20 years. The average real millionaire, multi-millionaire that keeps their money takes 12 to 20 years. And I remember being 19 and going, I'm not gonna wait 12 to 20 years. And sure, you can shorten that learning curve, but think about this way. That same mentor, Alan Nation, said, look, Ty, success, building a business, creating money, is a little bit like having a child. At the beginning, it's a lot of work, keeps you up all night, it's like a baby. Then it reaches kind of the toddler stage. You still have to watch it, but you get a little break. Then it starts to grow up, it becomes, you know, preteen, teenager. At that stage, they're good to go on their own for a day or two, but you better keep your eye on the ball. And he said, if you wait long enough, that baby, that success you created long enough, it'll eventually take care of you when you're old. And I remember thinking, that's a good analogy, but I don't want to wait. It takes whatever, 18 to 21 years for an adult to mature. I'm like, if that's the metaphor for wealth, I don't want to wait 18 to 21 years. And he said to me, well, Ty, I was like, I'm just going to work harder and smarter, and then I can make it all the first year. And he said, well, what happens if you overfeed a baby? Can you make it grow? twice as fast by feeding it twice as fast? Can you make a baby grow 10 times faster by feeding it 10 times the calorie? No, you'll kill the baby. And so a lot of people, because they don't have patience, and they don't understand the cadence of wealth creation, even somebody like the first internet billionaires, Bill Gates started at 12 building his first computers. He was a, you know, a multi-billionaire, 20s and early 30s. That's a solid 10 to 20 years. You think about people like, you know, Mark Zuckerberg or Elon Musk. It took a while. He was the richest person in the world. I remember reading, you know, he started PayPal at 01, made some money, made solid money. I think his cut, he says, was under 150 million. Reinvest, that was like 01, 02, 03. And he's the richest man in the world in 2021. But he's a patient man. And that's what I said. You can get most things you want out of life, but it's going to take one, two, years longer than you expect, maybe a decade. And you can't just feed the baby more to try to speed it up. 
But let's talk about, for those of you impatient people watching this, you might say, well, Ty, I just don't have the time. I just don't, I'm not going to do that. Well, you're probably going to be poor. But let's say you want to try to break the natural laws of this universe and you want to feed the baby so that instead of 21 years or 18 years to grow up, you make it you know, happen in eight years. How do you half the learning curve? How can you work half as hard and get twice the results? I'm okay with that framework. I'm not okay with cutting the framework, you know, 100x. I'm not, a, I don't like these Insta TikTok reels where it's like, my McDonald's journey in January, I quit my job Tuesday. I'm, you know, uh, January I'm broke working at McDonald's. Friday, uh, February, I quit my job. March, I launched my business. April, I'm traveling in jets and Lambos in Dubai. You know, and I never taught people that. That wasn't from me. Some people go, Ty, didn't you teach people get rich? I'm like, did you ever listen to one iota of what I said? Are people that stupid? Yes. They'll say what you taught without ever listening to what you taught. I always, I've been talking about this 12 to 20 year framework from when I started in social media back in like 2010, 11, 12. It's the same message. Now, of course, I show the Lamborghini. Why? Because people need to see the end game to stay motivated through the dark years. They call those the 10 dark years. Most greatness, whether it's a Bach, a Botticelli, a Leonardo da Vinci, a Nikolai Tesla, an Elon Musk, they had the 10 dark years. Now, of course, in the TikTok age, everybody wants to be the 10 week dark year. I had my 10 dark weeks. Well, the laws of the universe haven't changed and the frameworks of wealth haven't changed. So my advice to you is very simple here. How do you cut it in half? That's about the best you can do. Give you three simple ways to cut the learning curve so you'll still need patience, but maybe not quite as much. Well, number one rule is what Warren Buffett says. It's true you only learn through mistakes, but there's no rule the mistakes have to be your own. You only learn through mistakes, but there's no rule the mistakes have to be your own. Meaning, learn from the mistakes of others. Read biographies and autobiographies. You read uh, business books I read are not just, you know, I'm not just doing it to be able to say I read a book a day. It's going, so in a 500 page book or a 100, you know, four hour audio book, I'm condensing the life history of somebody, all their mistakes. Yeah, it's true you only learn from mistakes, but there's no rule they have to be your own. Read a book, listen to a book that condenses the mistakes and the learning curve of somebody who spent 40 years doing it right and doing it wrong, cut what work, cut what didn't work and keep the rest. So number one, if you ain't reading, you ain't leading, okay? And you can do audio if you think you're too, whatever, ADD to read. Number two, don't get high on your own supply, meaning use social media, but don't have it used against you. The second you're consuming one to two hours a day, of reels and TikToks, like how are you gonna cut your learning curve? You're making it take longer. So I use social media, I put messages out, it creates revenue for me, but I don't consume it much. Be careful what you're consuming if you wanna build wealth in half the time it takes the average person. Be careful what you're consuming. That also goes with food, but we'll stick with the media side of things. So then the third thing is shadow 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 why did i say it three times shadow three people for a year who have already gotten what you want and are 20 years ahead of you think it through it'll be harder than you think but it'll also be at the same time easier than you think humans don't learn through school as much as people think you know how you mostly learn you shadowed kids who were your peers most kids growing up it's their peer group it's their teachers body language how they talk, the things they don't do. It's not actually the textbook itself and the lecture on the chalkboard. So shadow, shadow, shadow. One person, two people, three people. You wanna get into real estate? One of my mentors, he made $2 billion, did mobile home, one of the biggest mobile home real estate uh, developers slash investors. He told me when he was a teenager back in the 70s, he's an older guy now, he said, Ty, I lived in Virginia and I found, I asked around who's the richest real estate person and he said I was 16 years old and I went in this guy's elevator, I found out where he, his office was and I kept going, I took the elevator, went to the third floor, met the secretary, hi I'm 16, I'd like to learn real estate, I'd like to shadow 
the owner of this real estate investment business. And the secretary nicely said, sorry, he's busy right now. And he went three times, same thing. He went for months, he would, wouldn't come back every day, he'd come once a month. Finally, he went and he hid behind the plant. <laughs> he told me, he said, I hid behind the plant next to the elevator. I knew he came in and I knew that secretary was keeping me from meeting him. And he said, as the guy got in the elevator, I came from around the plant, got in the elevator with him. I knew I had three little floors. I had 10 seconds to pitch him my elevator speech. And he told him, he said, hey, I'm 16. You don't know who I am, but I'd love to learn from you and I'll do it. I'll do, you know, I'll get you donuts. I'll get you coffee. I'll travel with you. I'll do the, the grunt work, the boring stuff. If you'll just teach me what you know. And the guy took him under his wing. And he said, in, before he was 18 years old, he was making so much money. His parents did an intervention because they found his bank account and thought he was doing something illegal, like selling drugs. He had he was said he was making, this is in the 70s, so he was making like $200,000 a year while he was in high school because he would help this guy go on the weekends and the guy started giving him little pieces of real estate deals. 200000 in the 70s when you're 16 or 17 is like making two, three million bucks a year. You know, in today's buying power, shadow, shadow, shadow. And if one person that you want to shadow you won't say yes, move on. There's a lot of people. But you need an in-person person, ideally. Not everything can be done on Zoom, Google, and YouTube. There's nothing wrong with Zoom. You could make one of those three mentors that you shadow could be online. But I'd have two of them in person. I have people that I shadow as much as I can. Some of them are billionaires. I just posted on my Instagram. I was in Texas and I texted Tillman Fertitta, the owner of the Houston Rockets, multi-billionaire, owns the Golden Nugget Hotels, owns 500 restaurants, you know, and, and I hadn't seen him in a while because of this whole COVID thing. So I texted him, I said, hey, can I come? And sure enough, he's like, I got 30 minutes and I showed up there. That's in-person shadowing. You know, it was last minute, so I couldn't find. There's no way to fly, so I drove three hours just to be there. I'm willing to put in what it takes to shadow people that are ahead of me. And as you become more successful, it's gonna be harder to find them. The good news about being broke is it's not that hard to find shadow, 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 three people to shadow, because everybody's ahead of you basically in the business world. So you can get what you want out of life, most of the things, but it'll take one or two years longer to start working. Listen carefully. I didn't say you will get it in one to two years. You can get most things you want out of life, but it'll take one to two years longer than you expected. Be patient because in one to two years, it's not gonna be done. You're not gonna have everything you want, but the ball will start to roll. And the hard part of life, it's like a, it's like a boulder. Everything you want out of life is like a boulder in a hill. At the beginning, you're pushing that boulder up and it is hard. And if you don't watch it, gravity wants to pull that boulder back and run you over and destroy you and your hopes and dreams. But you, when you're patient and you put in the work, even if you're only moving the boulder up a foot a day, a meter a day, eventually you reach the top. Now it's not that hard anymore. And maybe that top is for a little while. They call that the plateau. Keep pushing because eventually that boulder begins to roll on its own and gets real easy. And you can sit back and relax and what you want begins to come to you faster and faster with less and less effort. That's how money works. Doesn't they say the rich get richer? Of course the rich get richer. Because once that ball's pushed up the hill, just a little tap starts to bring the wealth in. That hard part is the push. That's the 10 dark years. And even harder sometimes is the top of the hill where it's a ridge and it's a plateau. And you're still pushing, but like now you're not going up or down. It just you can't even you don't even know what's going on. Those are part of the dark years. Be patient. Patience is rewarded eventually. Almost always. Like Charlie Munger said, to get what you want in life, you have to deserve what you want. The world's not a, such a crazy place that it res, uh, rewards a whole bunch of undeserving people. If you go to bed a little wiser, a little smarter than you started. So remember what the great Charlie Munger said. To get what you want, you have to deserve what you want. The world's not yet a crazy enough place to reward a whole bunch of undeserving people. You may think that a whole bunch of undeserving people create wealth. And there's always exceptions to the rule. But the saying continues, go to bed a little wiser than you were the day before. Step by step you get ahead, not necessarily in fast spurts.
But you prepare for that fast spurt through patience. Train the mind. Everybody trains the mind. You got CrossFit, you got weights, you have cardio, you have high intensity. Where's the training for the mind? Where are the people who are doing patience training? People do intermittent fasting. That was great. What about the intermittent fasting of the brain where you're not addicted to dopamine, you're addicted or begin to readjust the brain to be addicted to the slow patience that it takes to get what you want. So good luck out there. What you want is probably a year or two away from happening. But it'll be almost in a snap of the fingers when you look back. It's hard going forward. You'll realize it wasn't so hard when you look back.